In this video I'll show you how to set up your HP DeskJet 4255E using a USB cable instead of using Wi-Fi. So let's get started. First of all you'll need a cable that is printer connection on one side and USB type A or USB type C on the other side depending on your computer. Now this cable is not included in the box, you'll have to purchase one separately and I'll put a link in the description towards Amazon where you can get one. Once you have the cable, turn around your printer, take this end with the printer connection and we'll plug it right over here. This is where the USB port is located. Okay, so push it there. And the other end will plug it in the computer. Over here we have a PC computer, but it also works with Mac computers. Make sure that your printer is turned on. On your PC computer now, all we have to do is to go over here where you see the Windows icon. Maybe yours is over there, depending which version you have. And then from here you should see settings. Then on the uh, left side, you're going to press on Bluetooth and devices and then go down and select printers and scanners on the right side. Then you should see HP DeskJet 4200 series. It's your printer. The driver should already be installed on your computer. By default, when you plug it in your PC and probably also on your Mac, the driver gets installed automatically, so you don't have to do it. If you don't see your printer in this list over here, what I suggest is that you turn off your PC, okay, completely, turn off the printer as well, disconnect both of them, then turn on again your printer, turn on your PC, and then connect it once again in the USB port. Hopefully now your PC will be able to install the driver that will allow you to see the printer. So once this is done, you just have to open a file you would like to print. So over here I have my folder with some pages that I wish to print. Let me open this one. Press the print icon. And then on the left side of here where you see printer, you should see your HP DeskJet 4200 series. Select it, make sure these settings are okay with you and press print. The print should be out in uh, a few seconds. If you want to use the scanner of this printer, this printer has two different scanners. It has a top document feeder here. If you have multiple pages you like to scan at the same time, let's say you have 15 pages. Let me just demonstrate with two. And by the way, after that, I'll show you how to use the basic scanner. So I have two pages, I have aligned them, place them facing up with the top part of your document towards the left side and glide it through this opening here just like that. Now let's go on the laptop. We need to open the scan app. This is an app made by Microsoft and many PC computer comes with it included. You don't have to download anything. But if yours wasn't included with your PC, well, just go and search here and type scan. You should see this appearing. If you don't see it, go into the Windows Microsoft Store, type scan and download the Microsoft scan app. Okay, so I'll open it since I already have it. On the top left corner, select your printer. Source, uh, select feeder if you have put the paper the way I just did on the top document feeder. File type, select in which file type you'd like this to come. So let's say in PDF, I'll choose that. If you select PDF, it will combine all the pages in one single PDF file. You can press show more and you have more options over here. At the end, press scan and wait. The printer will take one by one each pages. You see, I'm not touching anything. So let's come back when this is done. You should get a message on the top telling you that the scan has been saved and it will be saved in the folder that you have selected right on the, I mean, on the left side here. All right, so the file has been saved on my PC. Now, how do you use the 
basic scanner over here. Well, open the lid, okay, could be letter size, could be even smaller size. Let's say I have a smaller size paper here, okay. Take it and place it facing down and align the corner of your paper with the top left corner of your scanner. So make sure both of these are touching. Make also sure that the top part of your scan, imagine this is some text written over there, is towards the left side. Close the lid. And now the only difference is that on the left side, instead of uh, selecting feeder, select flat bed. This is it. Uh, then you can modify the settings the same way you did and press scan. And here we go, we got our confirmation that it was saved on the desktop because this is what I have selected there. You can click view and it will open the file or you can go in the folder where it's saved and click on it to open it. Here we go, this is our scan. So this is it, thanks for watching, I hope this was useful, if so please leave a like, subscribe, if you want to get some paper or some ink for your printer please check my Amazon affiliate links down below. You support my channel every time you go through them since I get a very small commission. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.